So fresh homemade biscuits in the field are great. They're delicious, you could put honey, jelly, anything on them like that. But if you really wanna up the notch, you need to make sausage gravy. Sausage gravy and biscuits, it's my most favorite breakfast food of all time, other than bacon, of course. But as far as for a meal, sausage gravy and biscuits is where it's at. So today, that's what we're gonna make is the sausage gravy to go with the fresh biscuits I just made a few minutes ago. The ingredients you're gonna need for this recipe are, This is a quite straightforward recipe. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my Dutch oven in a warm spot. I don't wanna put it that it gets extremely hot, but I just wanna get it somewhere in here that it's warm and level because we're gonna to have to mix a couple things. What I have here is some venison sausage, probably eh, about a half a pound. So I'm gonna throw that right in there. I'm gonna let this cook down until it's good and browned. And then we're gonna to start to make a roux and that roux will become our sausage gravy. Okay, so you can see our sausage is about done, and I like to brown it up really good when I'm gonna do this. The next step is to take about a half a stick of butter, which I'm cutting right now, and we're gonna add that butter in. And this butter is gonna melt down, we just don't want the butter to burn. So that's gonna melt down, and we want all this on the bottom because that's gonna help us out here. So that butter's a little bit frozen just because it's been sitting out here and it's so cold out, but not gonna hurt anything. All right, so that butter is almost all the way melted at this point. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add about a quarter cup of flour into this. And we just want to mix it. We don't want it to get, so we don't want it to be chunky. So you can see how I'm just adding that in slowly and mixing this up. All right, I'm getting all that goodness off the bottom of that pan. Just like that. So you could see it's creating some thickness there. With the meat, so it's looking really, really nice just like this. And again, you want to get all that off the bottom of the pan. When you're done this step here, you shouldn't really have anything left on the bottom of your pan. So add a little bit left. If we need to add a little bit more, we will, but I don't think we're going to have to. You see what I did there? It just looks, it looks thicker. So that's called a roux. Get all that off the bottom. And now I'm gonna take this off and we're gonna add a little bit of milk. So all I'm gonna do now is mix this a little bit more. And this is again, just, I just wanna slowly add this cause you don't want this to burn or it's gonna really taste bad. So just add a little bit in and this is starting to create Our sausage gravy and if I need to add a little bit of water this was about a cup of milk maybe a little bit more I know it's steaming on you guys but trust me it's looking awesome and it's gonna taste even better now if we wanted to go ahead and thicken this up anymore, which I don't think I'm gonna need to. You could put it back on the fire and it would be fine just like that. But the pan is hot enough to keep this the way it needs to be. And we have ourselves some sausage gravy for our biscuits. I'm gonna take it over to the side here and we'll show you what it looks like. The last thing with sausage gravy that I like to add is I always like pepper in mine. I like it a little bit peppery tasting, but you can, of course, add whatever you think. So that should be about good. Mix that up. Look at that. That is looking delicious. All right. So now, you know what we got to do? Put this on our biscuits and have at it. That look good. Put my biscuits in there, get some of this sausage gravy. 
Now this is good eating out here, boys. All right. This is what I talk about good eating. This will put some meat on them bones too for all you skinny guys out there. So let's give it a shot. Delicious. Man. So here's the thing. All this is doable out here. You just gotta take your time with it. And it's not as controlled as cooking over a stove. So you just have to go with the food and when it's done, it's done kind of thing. This is awesome. So give this a shot, try it out. If you never had sausage, gravy, and biscuits, you have to try it. It's absolutely delicious. Came out awesome. Uh, again, seasonings, I like pepper in mine. You can add anything you'd want. Um, I think pepper is pretty much the staple though, what they do down south, but I'm not 100% sure on that. That's how I like it. So uh, I'm gonna load some more biscuits in here, some more gravy in here, and I'll be good to go. Hope you enjoyed these last two videos. As always, check us out over at coldcrackerbushcraft.com for all our classes and merchandise. And until the next video, stay in the woods, guys.